almost forgot I needed to record uh, the fan speed. So um, I kind of feel like the BIOS, the fan configuration in the BIOS is a little lacking. So here's the fans and I have it set up to where it is a uh, pool method. So the idea is, is that um, it, it pulls cool air in. Of course, it's going to pull it past the radiator. But when I to the touch though, the air that is coming from the the fan is actually kind of cool to the touch. Um, actually, kind of cool to the touch. And then um, like everything, everything is actually really cool. Of course, I'm in the BIOS mode, but the says 37C, and a minute ago it was 61. But when I look at the, I just basically have everything set. Um, CPU fan one. Right, 28C. Um, it's weird. It's weird how this is. I just did a uh, a BIOS update on the Corsair. What is it? The uh, 110i5, whatever it was. I don't remember what it was called, but um, so maybe that maybe that BIOS update properly reflects temp reflects temperature. Um, but these are my my curves. You know my fan curves, and I just I basically have everything on normal. Um, but the RPMs, see, so right here we have, uh, and this 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 looks respectful right here. The temps, this this is way different than what it, it's uh, reflecting with the 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 CPU application. So that's kind of weird. But see, like fan speed is 28. So maybe maybe that update that I just downloaded uh properly calibrated, but uh this is kind of what I got going on in the fan um profile. And I've I've messed with this quite a bit. I've tried to ramp it up. Usually I try to keep these a little higher. I wish you could just wish you could just dial them in like have a a knob where you you could just adjust it, but I, that's kind of what this is, I guess. Um yeah, I haven't really figured out how I want to do this yet. The, uh, I guess this is your RPM side and this is your temp side. And then so, but like some of these temps, you'll see, well, I guess I have to go here. I was messing with this, trying to get this optimized. Um, right here. If I go to manual, it lets me adjust it, of course, you know. So at 19C, but the reality is that's just the default spin rate, and then this one's going to be 29C, and really they don't the fans the fans pretty much from my understanding run at this run at this RPM, and this one is uh, what does this say? Does it actually say what the RPM is? This is supposed to be uh, I guess 500 500. This is the middle. That's six. So yeah, that's uh sorry, I'm not holding the phone correctly. So I probably could dial this in a little bit better. It says at 50C, it's supposed to be uh at 50C, it's supposed to be 700 RPMs. So that's what 6 5 5 6 and that's it's about what it's that's about what it's what it's running at. Um I feel like these RPMs need to be a little higher to be honest. But if I go to uh but that's what the normal setting is. I just left everything at, at normal. Uh, CPU fan, yeah, everything is is normal. Um, yeah, all right. Um, we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put all this in a video. Thank you. Hello, Timmy. I'm putting together this video just to kind of help shape uh, my understanding and also uh, give you more insight. So here I'm, we're looking at the um, Azeroth BIOS. I, I know you're pretty familiar with this because you recently did a video on it. But you you did a video that this is the Azeroth uh, 570 X570 Elite. So this is not their lowest, but their second second uh, I guess in the entry to on the motherboards. So I've gone through here and I've messed with. I've messed with all of this stuff, and as soon as I change this one to the 3800, it uh, it it's either this one or this one. It's one. It's either the hertz or the uh, the speed. But as soon as I manually put those into 3800 and I reboot, uh, it'll it'll go into that um, uh, 
BIOS lockout, and it'll it'll force me to um, basically reset to default configs. And so what I've and I've I've gotten gotten in here and messed with this quite a bit. Uh, the V core got with the V core because my my uh, where's it at my my uh, my voltage. This used to read. Uh, this used to read like 1.74, but I, I don't know if it, the, if the BIOS finally kicked in, but the frequency and the, the voltage, um, is, is kind of funky. Like that's the funky piece of this. And, uh, and I just left the Ram, the Ram uh, stock at the 32 Hertz. And then I went in there like your video showed and, uh, with the, uh, with the infinity fabric, um, and where's it at? Right here. Um, I, I, I put that, there you go, I gotta keep the camera up. I put that at the uh, the settings and that, that works. I can tell, tell that that works. And then um, advanced memory, I think it's advanced CPU settings. Here we go. Uh, power, no, is that core performance boost, clock. Uh, here it is. Is this it? Is this it? That's profile. I'm trying to remember the one. I'm trying to remember the one that. Uh... Yeah, but you can see the clock speed is set set to uh, 38, which is kind of low from my understanding. That's like, but I figure if it's set at 38 and then it it's uh, and then it boosts to to uh, you know four. Then that's you know I'm okay with that. I'm not, I mean I don't overclock anything. I try to pretty much keep it to run at stock. I I want it for its longevity, um, and not really trying to get. Uh, even though I do do a little bit of video editing and and uh, photography stuff, um, I don't really know what. See, and I've gotten in here and I've I've played with all of these settings, like trying to. Um, I've tried everything, and I've watched some videos by what is it, uh, Level One Tech, where he talked about when you undervolt these, uh, they they show better heat and they show better. Um, but I've tried everything from uh, 1.32 all the way uh, to 1.394, and just to set it. But I found with uh, I, I my, when I go to do the Cinebench, my. Uh, my it this the the score is around five thousand. So and I realize that my Cinebench isn't really where it needs to be as far as it's a little below average. Um, I've gotten in here and oh I, I changed this before. This used to be based off my RAM configurations. This should be uh this should be one point three six. I don't know why that's set back. Okay, that should be 1.36. I went through there and I did the whole DRAM um, configuration. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this uh, I'm gonna upload this video to my my phone. I mean to my computer, and then I'll put it on a YouTube video so you can see it. But hopefully, going through some of these settings, you know, the big the big takeaway I guess is the the over here on the right where you can see how uh, it the the base clock is at a thousand and then the frequency is the 3805 um memory frequency is 3200 and i set the memory the uh, infinity fabric to 16 i manually set i couldn't remember how to get back in there though I, I thought it was is it under miscellaneous no i thought it was system memory multiplier and so I went through and I actually dialed all these in because I, I, I uh, and the, they, it actually was a little bit more responsive. But then when I reset, had to reset the computer to bring it back to um, bring, bring it back because I, I had to change these two right here. It wiped all those memory settings out. So once I get this stabilized and figure out how to get the temps and everything into control, I'll... Um, I'll basically uh I'll go through and tune all this stuff again. All right. So so I but again, I think thanks for uh for replying back to my email so quick. 
Hey Timmy, I got your email and I downloaded the uh, software that you were talking about. Um, it's a little bit different kind of for me to, it's right here, it says clocks. I realize, I wish I could make this bigger so that way um, I could properly kind of articulate. But right here, it's 3800. It says ratio X times 3800 hertz, uh, bus 99.8. And then the voltage, it's like 1.35 to 1.42 and it's just cycling through and you can see it's got the clocks um and the clocks are they're just all over the fucking place sorry for the for penny that it says hertz 4.1 like 4100 4300 44 like they're just all buzzing away um and so you know i got my two hard drives uh, I don't know why this is in red. AMD v version 2, not supported. What is that? I don't know what that means. Uh, support, but disabled. AMD secure, a virtual machine. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, graphics memory, 4 gigabytes. 4.0. 4 graphics memory size 4 gigabytes that should be i mean this is a, a pcie 8 gigs um uh, 4 gig 16 number of gpu 16 slash 60 i mean it's a, supposed to be i think a 12 i don't know maybe my maybe my video memory went bad on me gpus um why is this 4 gigs 16 times 60 number of gpus yeah that's not that's not uh amd ryzen 3900x 14 nanometer i don't think that's accurate 12 slash 24 um so i don't say i don't see anything in here about temps though so we all have the frequencies I don't see anything in here about bus, monitor, drivers, audio, network, controller, motherboard, uh, sensors. I've never used this application, so I'm, I'm kind of um, detecting sensors. Oh, it should crash horribly. Memory. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So while I'm waiting for this, if I click on this, you know, it's got my temperature. Um, I think this is what you wanted me to download. So, um... current okay i guess this is my um voltage so it looks like i have a couple cores like 1.43 it just cycles i don't know what the deal is and then the hertz 4.39 4.217 so it's it looks like it's anywhere from 4200 um I don't see anything about temp. So here we go. Um, temperature 1, 30 degrees Celsius. Temperature 2, 39 degrees Celsius. Temperature 3, 60 degrees Celsius. And then um, temperature, temperature. Okay, this is uh, my, okay, this is my hard drives. Okay, this is my motherboard. Um... Hard drive, hard drive, GPU. Okay. And then network. I don't see anything in here about, really about CPU temperature, GPU, drive, 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 motherboard, power. All the power wattage, cores, cores, 
voltage, virtual memory. Yeah, I don't, I don't see what, um, I don't see anything in here. But one of the things I wanted to kind of show you was, is if I look at the temperature over here, it says 34 degrees Celsius. If I look at the temperature over here, it says 54 degrees Celsius. And then, where'd it go? Um, it's just stuff. And I have another one that I run. It's the, uh, it's the monitor. It's the, um, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right here. I just had it up. Did I close it out? Okay, I know, right? Where'd you go? It was I had another mo mo uh, monitoring software on here that kind of read similar to uh, what's going on with with this. Where did it go? Come back. Come back. Okay. Um, Boy, this is just so all over the place. It really is. Drivers, audio, memory. Okay, two sticks. Corsair. Okay. Um, bus. Okay. CPU processor. Okay, one CPU. Number of cores. I'm surprised it doesn't show me anything on this screen. I guess this is just a driver, like a uh, summary. What's summary? It doesn't show really. This is just kind of like a BIOS or a driver um, support where like how your stuff is configured. I mean, it makes sense from a problem solving point of view, but um, I don't see I don't see the temp for. I mean, I don't use this enough to really know what what exactly I'm looking for. Like temp one, two, and three. Uh, maybe a little bit of this makes sense to you since you use the software a little bit more often. Clock bus. All my voltage. Yeah. But uh, the, I thought the weird thing was is the the the, the pump. You know, I was reading thirty four degrees. But the the Ryzen software suite is reading fifty five degrees, and the the Hertz, you know, the Hertz over here on uh, the current. I mean, I know, I know these these Hertz aren't maxed out like this. I know they're not running. I mean, realistically, they're more like this up here. I don't know why these kind of show that they're maxed out. Um, I think a lot of this new software might not support. Um, you know, the way the controllers work on some of these, this application stuff. Um, physical memory, memory. Let me see what I got for GPU real quick. I didn't like that it said I had four gigs of GPU right here. I was like, man, that's, that's, that's not right. It should be, I think it's 12 or is it 16? I can't remember. Um, GPU, RPM. R RPM, um, here it's saying uh, link speed, PCI memory, yeah, it's not saying, 29%, fans, it doesn't show the RPM, yeah, I don't see, okay, well, I hope, I hope that gives you a little bit more information. You know, I realize that I'm ultimately I'm the beta tester on a lot of this stuff because um, the the fans, you know, the temperature difference on some of this stuff is not um, is not really accurate. That and it's it's kind of misleading because um, uh, you know another one I use is the um, the Cupid. Or not Cupid, but anyways, I'll uh, I'm gonna upload this so that way you can see it, and uh, you know maybe you can make some video content out of it, or maybe you can come up with uh, some some YouTube content, you know, to further help promote your channel. Um, but thank you, thank you for kind of a little insight.